A time of high mortgage rates and still high prices, one Utah home builder trying something new to attract buyers and help them qualify more easily for a mortgage. It's an interesting idea. Daniel Woodruff live tonight with this story. Daniel. Well, Mark and Heidi, the Utah legislature two years ago loosened the rules a little bit on what we call accessory dwelling units. Think like a basement apartment or an in-law suite that you can rent out to somebody else. Well, one Utah builder in this tough market wants to give more buyers that option up front to rent out part of their home. This house in Bountiful is for sale, pitched to buyers as a beautiful bungalow with a bonus, a renovated addition out back that could bring extra income using it as a rental, basically a separate apartment. Extra rental income is an attractive option for buyers, and Utah builder Fieldstone Homes is embracing it. It's a great value. VP Kelly Little says Fieldstone is currently offering free finished basements to incentivize buyers. For a little extra, she says, buyers can finish out the basement as an apartment. You get a walkout basement, and you have a kitchen, and you have a full living quarter that's separate from the primary residence. This option is available in Saratoga Springs, Clearfield, and Eagle Mountain. Little says it can also help offset high mortgage rates. They can use income to help qualify for a loan and so that it helps increase their buying power. That is the kind of thing that I hoped would happen. Representative Ray Ward sponsored a bill two years ago making it harder for cities to say no to accessory dwelling units like basement apartments. Even if they don't want to rent their home out right now they realize gosh my kids are teenagers now I might want to rent it out in five years I might want to rent it out to my kids in five years I'd really rather just have the home built so that I could do that. Now, of course, accessory dwelling units, basement apartments, they're not universally beloved. The Utah League of Cities and Towns has opposed efforts in the past to expand them broadly. A local housing analyst tonight telling me that he believes Utah is making progress on the issue of ADUs, although he says there are still many barriers to getting them built, including costs and financing, and yes, even local zoning rules. Live at the Capitol, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.